How you would get here, you guys all know, it used to be a low jab if you were moving around. Okay, we start from this position. I'm going to come in with a back fist. The minute you get into the field, this energy here, you usually the line open here. Then you just come back up again with a knee and then a headbutt. All I want you to do is hit with the inner elbow. Now, a little bit of body mechanics, just give a little bump with it. Okay, so what I want you to do, you load up from here. So when we hit a phone, this is where it would go. With well, the minute the head is on its recoil out, that's when it catches to the elbow. Come back again to the head. Okay, so all I want you to do is jab, you take it to here, bam, then we just bam to here, head, butt, knee, or a takedown. To answer your question, how to get that energy, how to feel when to do what lock, is to go back to an energy drill. So one of our basic energy drills is foo Okay, now you can name a lock. Any lock? Downward elbow. Wrist lock, okay, wrist lock's right here. Okay, somebody said downward elbow, it's a downward elbow lock. Okay, someone said upward elbow, it's an upward elbow lock. So whatever lock you want to do from this position, you can get into it. All your locks are done out of FUBA. It's just a matter of feeling the energy. I can do everything on the left side. I'm getting myself set and prepared. As I think in my brain, I'm counting to 10. When I reach 10 in my brain, this is the, the climax, so to speak. So when I'm about to kick, I'll burst at 10. Watch the movement and key in on the legs. That's the most important thing. I'm just going to play around. We don't always go as hard as we can go. You, you jab, light, and you cross, and then you eventually put some more power into it. just want you to notice that I'm waiting and I'm building emotion until I reach its pinnacle and then I let it go. Sometimes when you're here, just fake. Other times, put the whole motion in. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about power and kicking. Some of the most powerful kickers are Thai boxers and the mentality they use is when they go for their kick, they go all out. In other words, there's no psychic hindrances. They don't go halfway and then determine what they're going to do then. They go for it. One of the other things they do is they go through their target. They don't see the front of the target, they see behind it and they use full torque. We borrowed some of the mentalities from Thai boxing when we kick. I want you to look at the movement and the body torque and the twisting of the weights. Just going to do some Thai low kicks. <clears throat>